Hi everyone, it's Anna from Tech Hut, and recently the 9.7 inch iPad Pro was unveiled at Apple's March event and it has since been released. Aesthetically, the 9.7 inch iPad Pro looks similar to the iPad Air 2, however it is much more powerful. It has an A9X chip with 64-bit architecture and an M9 coprocessor, the same as the 12.9 inch iPad Pro which means it's fast at handling tasks and fluid whilst using the split screen view. However, the 9.7 inch iPad Pro has the same 2GB of RAM as the previous iPad Air 2, which means jumping between apps isn't as quick. In my opinion, it would have been nice to see 4GB of RAM in this device, the same as its bigger brother, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. The 9.7 inch iPad Pro has the same stereo sound built-in speakers as the 12.9 inch version which are a big improvement to the iPad Air 2 speakers. It also has a 12 megapixel rear facing camera like the iPhone 6s which has features such as live photos and autofocus with focus pixels. It can also record 4K video at 30 frames per second, 1080p video at 60 frames per second and 240 frames per second slow motion video. This smaller version of the iPad Pro overall has a much better camera than the 12.9 inch version. The camera sadly does protrude but doesn't wobble whilst on a flat surface. Its screen has a 2048 by 1536 resolution with the same pixels per inch as the 12.9 inch version. It has an anti-reflective coating and a new feature called True Tone. This means there are sensors in the face of the iPad which can detect the colour temperature of the room it's in and adjust the screen to match the colour temperature. In my opinion this is a very clever feature and it will hopefully make your eyes hurt less when looking at the screen for a long period of time. This new iPad also supports accessories such as the Apple Pencil and a smaller smart keyboard for typing. These accessories make the iPad Pro lineup feel more professional and the Apple Pencil enables you to draw more accurately. The smart keyboard for this device allows a very nice typing experience but it cannot be adjusted to different angles and it also lacks function keys across the top. This means you will have to learn lots of shortcuts instead. Overall, the 9.7 inch iPad Pro looks like a powerful tablet, much like the 12.9 inch version, but in a smaller, more portable form factor. I'm not sure whether it's worth the high price tag starting at US$599 or £424 for the 32GB Wi Fi model, all the way up to US$899 or £636 for the 256GB Wi-Fi model. Please feel free to share your thoughts on the 9.7 inch iPad Pro in the comments section down below. So thank you for watching this video, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this.